Well, conditions are dire in Buffalo, New York, where more snow blew through overnight. President Biden has approved an emergency declaration as Western New York deals with this massive winter storm that has claimed more than two dozen lives. Dave Graber of our Buffalo affiliate WIVB has the latest on the record-breaking conditions. Dave, good morning and thanks so much for being here. So let's hear about what's going on there. Yeah, good morning to you. Multiple cars and even some larger trucks are still stuck on this main road into Buffalo four days after the first snowflakes started to fall. Now, it's conditions like these that are making rescue efforts for first responders that much harder, harder in an already cr critically dangerous environment. Blistering cold, hurricane force winds, and close to 50 inches of blinding snow. Officials are calling the Christmas blizzard the worst winter storm to blow through Buffalo. This blizzard is the one for the ages. Certainly it is the blizzard of the century. At least 28 people have died in western New York, and the death toll is only expected to rise. New York Governor Kathy Hochul says she's spoken to many first responders as the search, rescue, and recovery continues. Going into homes, uh, going into vehicles, and then too many tragic times of finding people who did not survive the experience. The storm is forcing driving bans to continue in Buffalo and surrounding communities, with the lesser travel advisories everywhere else. Many on Buffalo's east side are still stuck in their homes, while vehicles still litter side streets and highways. There's cars everywhere, pointing the wrong direction on roads. There's abandoned uh, buses uh, on roads, so it's, it's a very, very tenuous situation. Thousands of residents around Buffalo are without power, and a state of emergency remains in effect. Anyone who declares victory and says it's over, it is way too early to say. It's a storm that's affecting lives all across the country, even bringing cold weather deep into the south. Like in Jackson, Mississippi, where residents are under a boil water notice after water line breaks from freezing temperatures. We can't cook. There's, you know, we're getting ready to order DoorDash because there's, we can't cook, we can't wash our dishes. And in North Carolina, where 200,000 people lost power, many of them still in the dark. Now, another major issue, especially over the past couple of days, is looting. Now, I talked to law enforcement all throughout the day yesterday as they're investigating these cases. And while they say there are people who are desperate out here, to be sure, there are people dying in their cars, dying in their homes without heat or without another source of power. But the vast majority, according to law enforcement sources that I spoke with yesterday, say these are people using this crisis, this deadly blizzard of 2022, as an excuse to steal. Back to you. Well, Dave, let's um, let's talk about the snow. You're a reporter there covering this in Buffalo. I, I mean, first of all, thank you. I don't think you guys get enough thanks for being out there, being a first responder and letting people know what's going on. So I want to say that first. But it's not anything new. So how does this compare, right, to years past this, this snowstorm? Sure. Perhaps the most recent is easy. Just a couple of weeks ago in late November, we had a storm that was similar to this. It was lake effect, a lot less wind, but it also dumped almost six feet of snow on some of the towns that are about 15 or 20 miles south of where I'm standing right now. Uh, it's also been compared to what we refer to here in this region, western New York, um, as November. That was from 2014 uh, when it, similar Similarly, Lake Effect, this band stayed in one place over the course of more than two days and dumped eight feet of snow on a very narrow band uh, to the north and to the east of where I'm standing right here. Um, and then, of course, sort of granddaddy of them all, if you will, is the blizzard of 77. Um, that was a three-day storm. Lake Erie was actually frozen over at that time, and there was snow on top of the ice, and those high winds literally 
literally picked up that snow and dumped it uh, onto land. And you're talking about drifts that were 15, even 20 feet high for that storm. Still, despite all of those severe conditions, and they are beyond severe, this is now the deadliest storm in this region's history. The death toll now standing at 28, and officials tell me that it is only expected to climb. Just heartbreaking. Dave Graber, thank you so much.